today's science file, it says... What's the difference between anaerobic and aerobic exercise? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. <laughs> You will need two 3-liter water bottles. First up, I'm going to show you how to work out your biceps. All you have to do is use the water jugs like dumbbells. I wonder why they call them dumbbells. Could it be the intellect of the people who use them? I know what you're thinking. Don't make that joke, Chris, because the muscle heads are going to beat you up. But here's the thing. Muscle heads don't get that joke. That's <laughs> two! <laughs> All right, here we go. is lie down to the ground, stretch your arms all the way out, and then bring the jugs up and drop down. You know, which is opposed to, you know, man down, sit down, and throw down. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, by the way, don't let your jugs touch the floor. Ah, okay, here we go. Third, I'm going to show you how to work out your abs. All you're basically going to do here is sit-ups, except you're going to put your jugs on your chest. Personally, I like jugs on the chest. <laughs> now, working out three sex pistol muscles right at home using nothing more than water jugs is freaking wigging cool. So, how do these water jugs build your muscles? And what's the difference between anaerobic and aerobic exercise? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Most muscle cells are only as big as they have to be to move the force of everyday activities. When you pull the jugs up with your hand, this puts extra stress on the biceps from the increased force to lift your hand. When you're lying down on the floor and you lift the jugs straight up and don't let them touch the ground, this puts extra stress on the pectoral muscles to pull the jugs up as well as to hold the jugs from hitting the ground. When you put the jugs on your chest while doing sit-ups, you create extra force on the abdominal muscles to pull the extra weight of your upper body. Continuous stress on these muscles forces them over time to hypertrophy, or increase in size, as well as the number of mitochondria in the cells. All skeletal muscles do store up some energy to take on certain quick or extra force tasks. These anaerobic exercises don't need as much oxygen delivered as they use up the muscle's stored energy reserves. If you cause the muscles to continuously be used for long periods of time, the muscle cells use up their reserves and need more oxygen to be delivered. Aerobic exercises such as running, swimming, and biking force the muscles to be continuously used, thus increasing the supply of oxygen demand. So now you know more about your muscles. You know, making your own homemade gym <laughs> is why science is so cool.